song like Ted. Anyone doing that one? Which one? I'm doing it. Yeah, 30 good. days in the hole. Yeah. That's nice. 30 days in the hole. 30 days in the hole. Lord, I'm <laughs> Yay, day one is fucking knocked out and knocked down. I feel a- actually ridiculous for even doing this. I'm going to do 30 days in a fucking trailer to fucking rehab and quit smoking and get my shit together. And then, uh, yeah, I knocked out day one yesterday and uh, it was so underwhelming. I didn't even really want a cigarette ever. And, uh, yeah, I I got some shit done. And the trailer was cute and cozy. And uh, yeah, so after uh, 36 hours, I feel like no big deal. But uh, yeah. so far, I have not snapped. I haven't broken a single inanimate object. And uh, and, and it, it's just a matter of not having cigarettes. That's the thing. I, mean, I love all your tweets and all your messages and take echinacea or have antioxidants and green tea and vape and e-cig. But it just it just don't have cigarettes and you're you're gonna quit. And you're gonna stop thinking about it because there's no cigarettes right there taunting you. And uh I guess that doesn't work for everyone because it's harder for you to get the fuck away from cigarettes. Or you have more ambition than me, where you'll go a lot further out of your way to go get cigarettes, but I will not, because I'm lazy as fuck. And if they're out of sight, out of mind. You can't smoke if you don't have cigarettes. It's that easy. Well, what you can try to do, like vaping, no, just don't have fucking cigarettes. I have, I, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be in a position where I don't have, I can take a fucking month and just go crazy and lock up in a trailer and do nothing but uh, go through old emails. That's what I've been doing for the first night. Uh, I don't use Facebook email, especially uh, if I need something, I might check your comments. If I asked you for something like, Hey, please, I'm stranded at a bus station and, and I've shit my pants. Then I would probably check the comments, but g- generally that's just to push shit. But my email, I read my email, but then I never get back to it unless it's important. Like if I'm drunk on the road and I just, I read something on my phone, I don't, I never, unless it's an emergency, I don't type on my phone more than a tweet. That's probably how Twitter got started is going. I don't know. I'm only, there's only so many buttons I'm going to fucking push with my shaking thumbs. So, uh, so, so I, uh, one of my key things to do on this 30 days, don't smoke no more than two drinks a night. No TV. That one I'm almost tempted to break because someone fucking sent me uh, a link to uh, the Black Mirror, the Christmas special, which I knew John Hamm was in. I didn't know Nat Tenya from Molotov Jukebox is in it, and she supposedly kills. So that's not technically TV because it will be on the computer, stolen, and run through a TV with a cord that Greg Chaley will hook up. So I will finally get to see the... Black Mirror Christmas special. If you haven't seen that series, it's on Netflix. Uh, so other than that, I've been reading emails. I have a very funny email that I've been, I forgot I got months ago and I haven't fucked with. Some 21 year old kid is like a Dutch kid. And somehow this fucking genius found my contact address while looking for work through this from the Stanhope Hotel, a five star hotel in Brussels. And so he uh, sent basically a, a, a job application or asking if they were hiring and he's smart and speaks five different languages. You're on the fucking wrong website must not be. Like, how do you, how do you fuck that up that bad? So I just emailed him back saying that I was indeed looking for uh, people in various positions from uh dunce clerical to uh graveyard shift bottom johnny and etc etc we'll see if that develops into something funny maybe that's more for the website which i've (laughs) ignored uh so yeah i have so many fucking emails back to going back to 2013 
that I have never either put in a proper folder or got back to. Uh, so I'll be doing a lot of that. Trying to do 100 emails a day. So maybe I say hi. That doesn't mean we're starting a friendship. Sometimes you say hi to someone. like you, 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 There's that line you cross that you didn't know you crossed. When you go, oh, I'll just be nice to a guy that's a fan. And then all of a sudden gets your phone number and yeah and you go all right do i have to fucking move or pretend i was a victim of a home invasion so all my phone numbers of the people i've never called back got deleted and i can't get <laughs> uh, i get this one fucking email keep in mind I don't remember anything I've ever done on this podcast, save for a handful. In fact, that's one thing I'd like to ask you, the listener. We always do these things shit-faced, so I, and I never have any plan, so we're just randomly talking. So when you say, when I, that's why I always say, did I already say this on a podcast? Because to me, a podcast is just like any other conversation. So if you're talking to your friend, I don't know if I already told you this, but... Uh, did you see that movie? Well, of course you wouldn't remember because I put no more effort into this podcast than I do a bar conversation. It's not saying it's none. I'm just saying no more. If I'm talking to you as a person, I want you to feel like you're a guest on my podcast because it's pretty much the same thing. Now, I don't know if that means the guy at the bar is a, 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 a level above any other guy at the bar. Or if my guests on the podcast are wanting more than they're getting. Point being, yeah, I, I want to I want to listen to five different podcasts just uh, just to hear what this fuck. I've never listened to it aside from one James Inman and uh, the obviously the Cliffhanger podcast. I have, I don't listen to this thing. So yeah, if you have suggestions of which uh what podcast do you think I should listen to? One that you go, oh that's that, that's what it should be like, and or listen to this and don't ever fucking make that mistake again. Oh I'll, I'll I'll aggregate uh tally up what I s seem to see trending in those tweets and uh I'll I'll, I'll abide. And uh, maybe I'll get back to your email. If you wrote me in 2013, I'm, I'm going back that way. Uh, but yeah, most of those I'll probably just folder and I'll talk to you when I play your town. Uh, I got one email. This, again, I remember at some point talking to someone, probably Brett Erickson, uh, about clubs and how they f can try to fuck with you. And I, I don't even know what the whole point of it was. But I do remember talking about a club in San Marcos, Texas, where they, uh, they you know, I get the door. But then on top of that price, they had tried to set up their own VIP section where they were upcharging people to sit in better seats. And that's had nothing to do with me. But it looked like I'm trying to gouge you for even more. Well, the fucking the guy that booked that show. Not the guy that runs the club, but just uh, the booker evidently heard it. And I must have mentioned his name, which is awkward that I remember it. Uh, and he said, I never charge your audience for VIP tickets. Why are you making up stuff about me on your podcast? Now, I can't guarantee it because, again, I don't remember. And I'd have to figure out what podcast that was on. But I guarantee the focus of it was not Nicoludo, some former open mic uh, low rent booker guy that I was like mad at. Like, you're, you were of no consequence there, Nick. So I wrote him back saying, I said the club did that. And he said, well, uh, the, the club tried and me and my partner got in their face and told them it was not happening. And then they moved the tables and it was over the minute that we all noticed it. So why are you dragging my name through the dirt? Like, wow. Because I guarantee, Chaley, if we look that up, which we're not, because I want these fucking things to go out as soon as possible for the 30 days. But uh, someone else will, yeah. Did I ever say Nickeludo tried to fucking shyster me by setting up his own? V no, I might have said your name in context with the thing, but I never, I, I don't, I barely remember it. 
So I had to respond. I have no recollection, Nick, of mentioning your name on my podcast, but if you hadn't noticed, your name kind of lives in the dirt. Which it does, because he's a fucking tool. And he writes back, it lives in the dirt with piece of shit, backstabbing cunts like you. So be it. Go fuck yourself. Sent from my iPad. <laughs> I put the inflection on set with my iPad right there. <laughs> but if iPads could have inflections, get sent from my iPad. Jesus Christ, Nick, fucking relax. You're out of the business. You were never really in the business. You are just a guy who would do a whole lot of work and for fucking to no avail. <laughs> like you did, you do all this work that I already fill that number of seats every time I play this town. So don't go acting like, well, yeah, I had guys out fucking giving out posters at all the coffee shops. That's not going to fucking bring an ass into a seat. You don't need to do that. And then you, you would want all this extra. Hey, my friend there, you know, the guy that you, I, I, I crowbarred into you giving a guest set and guilted you into, yeah, you, you think you could put a little cherry on top for him? What? Why are you talking like Frank Sinatra? Why do you have Frank Sinatra tattooed on your fucking calf all the way down to your ankle? Or was it a tar? And why do you wear a pants with one leg to show that off? He didn't really he didn't really do that, but he's the kind of guy that would be the kind of person that wears very awkward clothing just to show off a tattoo. He had like Rodney Dangerfield and he was just this fucking dope, like absolute dope. No Nickeludo. I was not ever trying to infer that you tried to rip me off because you're too fucking dumb to ever you, you would just nickel and dime and uh, you think i could get a little you know because the cost of gas and stuff and you think uh because they put all this time in i put a flyers up i got i got you a free limo i won't I, to play a coffee shop the fuck is gonna show up at a coffee shop in a stretch limo you yes you're a nincompoop how dare you backstabbing cunts I, w I would really like to hear the clip and you know what play just drop this we'll put this out now listen i'm gonna do these short for the 30 day uh 30 days in the hole i'll do these short ones daily but uh, real ones will be coming out we did a, a good one with uh uh, I don't know. Was Chad Shank? Do we do we have a Chad Shank coming up? I think we might have a Chad Shank in the can. And Evergreen Chaley called it, where we made it not time sensitive, so we can drop that anywhere we need it. But we had a big pre party going into this thirty days in the hole, where uh, that has to be edited up and chopped up. But that was uh, me and Chaley and the the uh, our ladies and Brett Erickson and the just. We got fucked up and then we went and revisited it sober to see who could remember what. But there's also some tape of us fucked up. So that's a lot of editing work. But that'll drop as a full podcast. Until then, uh, yeah, donate, buy merch, DougStandup.com. Thank you, everyone who's mailed shit to the house. That's very nice. Someone just get, I just opened a cookbook right now. I don't know what you're thinking sometimes, but it's, you know, Chaley might cook for me out of it. He might do that. The old world kitchen. Thank you, guy whose name I forgot is Alston, I think. I already forgot after I read your note. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of a lot of stuff in there that, yeah, milk milk caps, uh, spinach bouillabaisse. Actually, today, funny enough, I've been trying to get rid of spinach at every meal today because it's uh, starting to wilt. So I had to, heavy spinach in the smoothie, heavy spinach in my egg white omelet, Heavy spinach in with my chicken. I made shredded chicken with uh, uh, feta and spinach all chopped up, melted up together. I was gonna put it in a in a in a tortilla because that's all I could think of, but I just ate it with no bread. All right, uh, that's it. I got fucking. Uh, all right, I'm gonna close every podcast on. I don't know. I got uh, on a different song. Did I, is there anything else? What else? Are we, see, we were going to play tennis after this and I'm kind of hurrying, but I, I'm hurrying also because I have nothing else to say. 
That's what I've done since I've been in fucking rehab. I've walked the dogs all over creation several times a day, and I've uh, got a massage today. That was lovely, and I, uh, I, I, I took a sauna, and that was nice, and now I'm going to go play tennis with my friend Greg Chaley. It's brutal. It's brutal what I'm going through. And then at night I sleep in this adorable little 6x12 travel trailer, and then I do my work out of there, and I get some sun out on the slab. So day one uh, went perfect. Day two, I'm feeling good. I'll finish up. I'll tell you about the rest of day two tomorrow. I'm going to have my two cocktails tonight. What goes good with gin? You tell me. And not tonic. Everyone already said tonic. I don't like tonic. I don't like soda. What do I mix gin with if you don't like soda? I think I'm going to have to settle for an Izzy. It's a half soda. Pink grapefruit Izzy is a half soda. It's a half breed. I can do that. All right, that's it. Uh, just for fun, you're going into the gutter of my, uh, backwoods of my iPod, every podcast of the 30 days in the hole. And we're going to close today with Saul Williams, list of demands, list of demands, hit it hard. Choose to forget. God's just a baby, and a diaper is wet. Call the police! I'm strapped to the teeth. And I have all the disregard you ever believe. Calling the law! I'm fixing the draw. A lot of tea, but isn't seen to call up a brawl. Calling them now, cause it's about to go pow. I'm standing on the bench, on the thugs in the dime. Call up a truth, because I'm about to break loose. We're taking that concern, I'm breaking out of my loose. I got a list of demands. And you gonna know where I